Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to display multiple columns into a combo box from a database of SQL Server in Windows Forms. And here we got the output. When I expand, user ID, username and email IDs. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new project. Go to File, New, Project. In the Template section, I am choosing Windows, Windows Forms application. The name is Windows Combo List. Click OK. Now in this form 1, let's expand this one. Now in this form 1, I am adding all window forms combo box. Just drag and drop here. Before creating the connection strings, let's check my database table and the columns. I'm expanding the databases. The sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one. The tables expanding. For this tutorial, I'm choosing user hyphen reg data table. Right click that one. Select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this user reg table. Contains, contains three columns, user ID, username and user email and which contains four records. Now my aim is I want to display these three columns into the combo box. Let's switch over to the ASP.NET. We'll write the code. I'm back to the Windows form. Go to Server Explorer. Data connection, slide to that one. Add connection. The server name is user open pc slash SQL Express database name is sample db test connection ok click ok and here you can notice under data connections we newly added the sample db dot db wall. for this data source connection string right click that one go to properties let's copy this data source connection string Right click the form 1, go to view code. In this form, I am adding the namespaces to access my data source connection string using system.data.sql client. Come to the bottom. After initialize component, SQL connection. SQL con is equals to new SQL connection. Here I'm adding between double quotes the data source connection string. SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command, which takes two parameters. One is the select statement select start from the table name is copy this one this here and the second one is sql connection and here notice we got an error here it's showing some unrecognized escape sequence so add another one double slash SQL connection dot open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter which takes SQL command parameter data set DS is equals to new data set now I'm filling data set in this adapter SQL data adapter SDA dot fill method ds I'm adding for loop 
in this for loop int i is equals to 0 i is less than ds dot tables which is 0 dot rows dot count i plus plus now in this for loop I am adding my combo 1 which is the combo box id dot items dot add method ds dot tables dot rows the rows I am adding the int index which is i the starting value and the second one is the columns is 0 plus between double quotes I'm adding pipe symbol let's copy this all paste here instead of 0 just make it 1 I have three columns here so 1 2 3 if this array starts with 0 1 2 just remove this one that's it let's check the output start and here we got the output when I expand user ID username and email IDs that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos